Some birds are majestic, elegant, and beautiful, but some, some are lethally dangerous. Some can do serious damage. There are some birds that you do not want to mess with. These are the deadliest birds on the planet. Number 15. Seagulls. If there's any of you who still read the mainstream media, you will not be surprised at this inclusion. Since seagull stories have been more popular than stories on Brexit, Donald Trump, and the global pandemic combined in recent years. The seagull terror, lock up your babies, giant seagulls ate my dog, and seagull flew off with cat are just some of the headlines we have seen in recent years highlighting the dangers of these seabirds. The British press in particular have been obsessed with the birds, and their reputation has gone from bad to badass as many images have surfaced of fearless seagulls stealing sandwiches from tourists or even attacking them with their beaks, sometimes drawing blood. <laughs> There is no scientific research to suggest that seagulls are in fact becoming more aggressive towards humans, but some of these images speak for themselves. Who knows what the future holds? Perhaps we will see the first ever organized seagull crime syndicate. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the juicy topic. If you looked up the phrase, deadliest bird, in the dictionary, you'd see a photo of the giant petrel right there. These bloodthirsty birds rival the likes of sharks and tigers for the title of deadliest predator on the planet. Residing in the southern hemisphere, not many people know about these monstrous things, but they really should. In order to survive in the demanding conditions of their locations of choice, giant petrels have adopted an extremely aggressive lifestyle all about attacking anyone and everything. Do not mess with these things, because they will mess you up. Remember to comment down below with the hashtag JuicyTopic, and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. And now, to the next topic. Number 14. Shoebill. The shoebill is an absolutely monstrous looking bird from Africa. The beak in the middle of its face is said to resemble a shoe, but it looks way more terrifying than that. They were once believed to be a kind of stork, but we now know they are a member of the pelican family. And it's not just the beaks, these birds stand very tall, sometimes close to five feet. When I told you before that birds were the closest living relatives to the dinosaurs, I wasn't joking. And one look at a shoebill face should be enough to convince you that this species at least has not evolved all that much from the prehistoric giant lizards. The shoebill is a meat eater, and that massive beak allows it to hunt for some very unusual prey even including baby crocodiles. The edges of the beak are razor sharp, and the shoebill is known to decapitate its prey before eating it. Just to add to the terror, the shoebill makes a clattering noise with its beak, which sounds a lot like a machine gun. Luckily, they are quite docile around human beings, but if they ever change their attitude, we could be in for a rough time. Number 13. Marshall Eagle The Marshall Eagle is another African bird, only this time it is a raptor. This is a massive eagle, and its wingspan can be as much as seven and a half feet. The females are considerably larger than the males, and this eagle is known for its particularly sensitive eyesight, with its eyeballs being almost the same size as a human being's, even though they sit in what is obviously a much smaller skull. This all adds up to eyesight, which is three and a half times more powerful than a human's. This bird likes to spend a lot of its time very high in the air. Soaring around mountaintops, scoping out any potential prey below, they fly so high that a human on the ground would need binoculars to be able to see one. And when it does not spot prey, the Marshall Eagle gets to demonstrate why it is considered one of the most powerful predators for size in the world. In fact, this apex predator is known as the Leopard of the Air. While known to be shy and wary and most of its behaviors, when hunting the Marshall Eagle really comes alive and has been known to hunt dangerous 
dangerous prey like venomous snakes, monitor lizards, jackals, and medium-sized wildcats. It will even attack massive animals like bison in an attempt to separate them from their young. This bird is basically Genghis Khan with wings, so keep an eye on the sky if you're ever in their territory. Number 12. Giant Petrel the giant petrel lives in and around Antarctica, and this massive bird, which is the size of turkey but hell of a lot more agile, is both a scavenger and a predator. They are also sometimes known as sea vultures, and in this video, shot at St. Andrews Bay in South Georgia, near the South Pole, you can see why, as they really do resemble African vultures in the way they feed on the kill, which in this case is an emperor penguin. The larger birds run in with their wings spread to intimidate the others, so that the biggest birds always get to feed first. Petrels are not fussy eaters though, and will eat just about anything. Sometimes they attack other birds, beating them to death or drowning them. Otherwise, they are happy to scavenge carrion. Around 15% of these birds are completely white, and so they are often mistaken for albatrosses. But petrels are better on land and a lot more aggressive than the albatross, as well as being huge vulture-like birds, they can spray unpleasant oil as a defensive measure. So it's really a sea vulture skunk. Number 11. Bearded Vulture we couldn't include only the sea vulture and forget about one of the land vultures, especially this particular vulture known as the bearded vulture, which is pretty much the most metal bird on the planet. These birds who lived in Africa sometimes steal baby lambs, calves, and even human babies. But most of the time they feed on bones and are known to take large bones up to very great heights before dropping them so that they shatter into smaller pieces that the vultures can then eat. Its stomach acid has a pH of about 1, meaning that it can digest almost anything. They also have an unusual behavior, which is that they like to dye their feathers red by rubbing soil into them, making it look as though they have a massive bloody head. In spite of all of this, they were once considered to be excellent pets by the British, although nowadays they are endangered and so you are unlikely to find one in your local pet store. A story goes that the great Greek dramatist Aeschylus was killed by a bearded vulture, which dropped a turtle onto his bald head, mistaking it for a rock. Number 10. Mute Swan In England, Email Swan is specially protected by the Queen of England, thanks to a law which dates back to the Middle Ages. But the question is, do mute swans even require this kind of protection? And should the Queen perhaps be more interested in protecting her British subjects from mute swans? According to the BBC, a man in Chicago was killed by a mute swan who attacked him while he was on a boat, knocking him into the water and then continuing to attack him so ferociously that he was unable to swim to shore, causing him to drown. Swans, which have very long necks and a wingspan of up to 8 feet, can be especially aggressive when protecting their nests. A swan in England, known as Mr. Asbo, became a kind of notorious celebrity on the River Thames due to his frequent attacks on rowers. A biologist at the University of Missouri said that these birds are so big that they can do major damage, and that he was not surprised to learn about the man who was killed by one. Number 9. The Crowned Eagle The Crowned Eagle is not the heaviest or the largest raptor in Africa, but it is known as the most powerful. These eagles deploy a hunting technique called still hunting, whereby they take a steep drop from a perch or branch once they have spotted some prey on the forest floor. Sometimes they can also stalk their prey for a long time before they attack. If they are attacking something in a tree, they will often try and force it to the forest floor. But usually they only attack things which are already on the ground, and the incredible force of impact from the talons is usually enough to cause death. They often target the head of their victim, driving the incredibly sharp and powerful talons through the skull into the brain. If they kill something very large, they will usually tear it to pieces on the ground first before carrying it to their nest. But otherwise, they simply swoop away with the prey in their claws, being able to fly almost vertically while carrying heavy prey. Number 8. 
Peregrine Falcon The Peregrine Falcon is one of the world's most incredible species, and a record breaker when it comes to speed. This raptor can fly at speeds of up to 200 miles per hour. Shaped like a boomerang, they fold their wings in close to their body, and then begin to fly through the air at speeds comparable to an F1 car. It is still unknown to scientists, studying these birds, how exactly they are able to make dives at this incredible speed and maintain the necessary maneuverability to strike prey successfully without injuring themselves in the process. As we can see in this clip, these living missiles are totally formidable. First, she is able to use incredible agility and speed to grab some prey for her chicks. But as soon as that's done, she must rush out and defend her territory against invading massive pelicans, which are far bigger than her, before then turning her attention to another creature, which has its eye on her young a deadly snake. But the snake has made a big mistake in trying to mess with the nest of a peregrine falcon. Number 7. Common Loon In spite of its name, the common loon is not something sat under a bridge raving about the forthcoming alien invasion. It is in fact a kind of bird. And if the peregrine falcon is the missile of the air, then the common loon is the depth charge. these birds have an incredible ability to dive as much as 200 feet below the surface. Once they are down there, they can hold their breath for up to 8 minutes. Normally, the impact speed would shatter the hollow bones of a bird hitting the water fast enough to plunge 200 feet below, but the common loon does not have hollow bones like other birds. They are actually solid. Although they look like ducks, they are in fact more closely related to penguins and albatrosses. In Canada, where these birds are quite common, they are featured on the back of the $1 Canadian coin and are quite a cultural phenomenon, with Canadians calling dollar coins loonies and believing that they bring good luck. I find that money is almost always a sign of good luck, but that's Canada for you. Number 6. Pelican The pelican is one of the most recognizable birds in the world. With its giant beak featuring a pouch, massive size, and big webbed feet, it is striking and sometimes intimidating. They use the pouch to scoop fish out of the water, and they can fit three times as many fish in the pouch as they can in their stomachs. Most birds have three toes pointing forwards and one toe pointing backwards. But the pelican has all four toes pointing forwards, which means it is an excellent swimmer. But quite clumsy on land, they don't just eat fish, however. They will pretty much try and eat anything that they can fit in their beak, including other birds like pigeons. They are a very important animal to Christianity and have featured in other forms of art and mythology around the world. Brown pelicans almost went extinct in the 20th century due to pesticides, but have now begun to make a recovery in their numbers. Number 5. Red-Shouldered Hawk The red-shouldered hawk is a North American raptor, with quite a wide habitat range, including sometimes suburban areas. These solitary birds hunt by day and usually seek out prey from treetops, all while soaring high above. Like most hawks, they use the element of surprise and often attack from behind, using their incredibly sharp talons as well as the force of impact to kill. Their diet includes voles, mice, gophers, moles, and chipmunks, as well as various snakes, amphibians, and insects. Like pelicans, these hawks suffered severe population declines due to the use of the DDT pesticide. But in recent years, their numbers have become much more healthy. Interestingly, these hawks live in peaceful coexistence with crows. Crows are usually an enemy to raptor species as they like to eat the eggs of other birds. But crows know not to eat the eggs of the red-shouldered hawk. And both species work together using their particular skills to defend their shared territory from attackers by other large birds. Number 4. Great Horned Owl The Great Horned Owl is also known as the Winged Tiger, or Tiger Owl. And as you might imagine, this is due to its reputation as a ferocious predator. It has been said of this owl, which is native to the Americas, that almost any living creature that walks, crawls, flies, or swims, except the large mammals, is the Great Horned Owl's legitimate prey. They have been observed preying on raccoons, small dogs, skunks, and even bobcat. These birds have also developed a reputation for occasional aggression against humans.
Although rare, reports of great horned owl attacks on unsuspecting joggers and hikers have made it into the news. Reports from both Seattle and the town of Salem, Oregon, told of these flying tigers repeatedly attacking the scalps of joggers. They can grow to two feet in length and have wingspans well in excess of six feet. As with most owls, they focus their attacks on the face and head, so you may want to consider adding a motorcycle crash helmet to your jogging kit if you happen to live in the area where these birds are. Number 3. Hooded Pitoee The hooded Pitoee is the first ever documented poisonous bird. This brightly colored and attractive bird was first discovered in 1989, living in New Guinea. They derive their poison from their diet, feeding on a species of poisonous beetle, whose poison they then convert into their very own. The poison helps to deter predators and also protects them from parasites. It is evidently very successful, since there are other bird species living near the hooded pitoee who have evolved the same color scheme, which helps them also to deter predators. The local people of New Guinea have long known about the toxicity of this bird, but it was not quite until recently that it was recorded by modern science. When treating the skin of some specimen birds in a laboratory, the scientists discovered they had sensations of numbness in their hands, as well as some burning on the skin. And that was when it was discovered that this bird is poisonous. The way its poison is developed is a similar system to that of the golden poison frog of Colombia, which is one of the most poisonous creatures in the world. Number 2. Magpie In Australia, the Australian magpie is an iconic and much-loved bird and it's even topped a poll of the nation's favorite birds. It seems that for the Australian magpie, the feelings are not mutual and humans are a long way from being their favorite mammal species. Every August, male magpies enter swooping season, where they will aggressively attack anything that enters their territory, and that often means people. One cyclist in Queensland claims that he was stalked by the same magpie for months, before finally the magpie attacked so ferociously that he fell from his bike, breaking his wrist. Another man died in a magpie-related incident, and authorities were called in to shoot yet another bird who had been terrorizing a local community. Swooping season usually only lasts until October, but reports have continued to come in beyond October in recent years, suggesting that the magpies are gearing up for some kind of revolution. Number 1. Cassowary The cassowary has the distinction of being known as the world's most dangerous bird. They mainly feed on fruit and occasionally on small insects and other kinds of vegetation, but these birds are basically modern velociraptors without the meat-heavy diet. When Australian and American troops arrived in New Guinea during World War II, they were warned to stay away from this nightmarish bird. The second toe on the cassowary claw has an enormous and extremely sharp nail which is capable of severing an arm or completely eviscerating a human being. These birds are wary of people but are also willing to attack them and steal their food. There was only one fatality on record, a teenage boy back in the 1920s who was clawed in the neck and died. But then in 2019, a 75-year-old man from Florida fell and was clawed to death by his pet cassowary. There have been many fatalities among pet dogs and likely many more that were not recorded, especially among the natives of New Guinea. This is one dangerous bird. Which of these birds did you think was the most dangerous? Have you ever experienced a seagull stealing your sandwich? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!